Hey guys, I'm Billy. I do Villager on uh, Smash Brotherhood. How did I get involved with the Xander Brow crew? Um, a couple years ago, I got introduced to this place down the street from, called the Geek Easy, which was this bar in the back of a uh, comic shop where I met Brower and Lackett. And we just kind of connected, we were having a good time, and then they were telling me about this crazy thing they were doing on YouTube. And I went, oh, that's so cool, do you guys need more characters or anything like that? They were like, we're looking for Villager for like a cameo in season two. And I went, I could do that outfit. It's a shirt with the one on it. And that's why I'm here today. Did I know it was low budget? Yeah, but you know, that's the best you get from Full Sail students. No, um, I mean, yeah, we're all college students. We're just trying to have fun on YouTube. I mean, that's essentially what this whole project is. It's like, it doesn't matter how good the quality really is when it comes to low quality, like the way it, like the low budget and everything like that, it doesn't matter how good the quality is as long as the, um, you know, you're having a good time. We're not trying to like submit this to Hollywood and go, look, we're actors or anything like that. It's just, we're there, we're doing something that we love to have fun. Did I watch the previous season before my uh, cameo and stuff? Yes and no, I watched some of it. Um, I'm not a big, there are some things that I don't just like sit down and binge watch. Like I've, it's really comp complicated in the way that I work when it comes to watching like YouTube and stuff. Like I could sit there and binge watch like uh, some uh, Let's Plays and stuff like that. But even then I've, I've got bored watching those sometimes. I don't know. I've been meaning to sit down and actually like finish the freaking series, but you know, it's kind of it's kind of sad when you really think about that somebody that's actually on the project won't even watch, doesn't even watch it. How do I like the uh, sets, even though it's literally just one apartment complex? I'm impressed with the creativity Brower and Lackett came up with for the idea of like how to film with their small amount of uh, space, but I don't know. It works. The areas that they find, it works. And when it works, it works well. There are some points where it's like, yeah, we're in, we're in a parking lot. I see a car. Hey, there's a tennis court. This was supposed to be a battlefield. But, you know, I don't know. In a whole, it works out. What is the cast like behind the scenes? Ah, uh, The loudest. The loudest, craziest people you would ever meet. Like, I remember the first time, uh, not the first time, after my cameo, it took a little bit of time before I was able to come back out here because of school and work. And when I did, there was the, f the first thing, like, out of Lackett's mouth that just made me and, the, and uh, my buddy who came with me, um, we just started dying and we've been making jokes on it the whole time just screams in a Gilbert Gottfried impression about his inner goddess and- Gilbert Gottfried! Who the fuck is impersonating me? I am! Well, do you know who I am? I am you, not stronger! I am you, but stronger! Never talk- I am your biggest fan, Gilbert! Never talk- And it was just so fabulous. I don't know- I don't know, it's just- They're loud, we're obnoxious, but it's fun. How do I feel about my sister getting more screen time than me on the show? For those who, uh, for those who don't know, me and the girl playing Rosalina are uh, brother and sister. We're twins. I don't care really. I mean, I know I'm gonna get more screen. I know I'm gonna get more, uh, you know, prominence in the shows coming up, but. I don't know. I had fun with what I did. I got to do a lot of the stuff myself instead of like get bounded by a script. I got to just be able to flow with everything and everything like that. And I got to really work on improv. So, do I care that she has more screen time than me? No. We're not that kind of si we're not those kind of siblings. <laughs> How do I feel about uh the fact that Brower wanted it to be like kind of a one-time thing that like's not connected to anything, but then Lackett all of a sudden's coming out with uh, the Luigi Chronicles saying, hey, let's connect this. 
I kind of like connection. I mean, I like... I mean, the characters, it, it was such a fun project that I think through the idea of a, like, sequel series, it could really work out, like, exceptionally well. Do you need to watch, like, Young Mario Bros. to get into this show? This show? Uh, I don't... I don't know. I never actually watched it. You don't have to watch it. I mean... You don't really need to. It's... They have enough time gap to where it's like, they have a nice little homage to it at the beginning where they're like, well, we need to change this up. And as they go through the montage of getting themselves ready for the uh, uh, fight tournament, you know, it works out. It, it works out for what it is and it, it pays the homage, but it's not really connected. How do I feel about it being edited on iMovie? It's like the question beforehand, just the fact that, uh, you know, it's low budget and everything like that. They work off Macs because Broward and Lackett, they go to full sale, so they get the Mac computer for uh, their uh, time there. And it's like, do I really notice or care? I don't know if it really affects the quality or not. I'm not that big on, like, editing and film and stuff. I'm just there to perform, so I don't really know all that stuff. I don't think it messes with the quality, but I don't know. They could probably do a lot better if they had like a bigger budget. Would I recommend this show to someone? Yes, but it would have to be a very, it would be a niche group of people. Like it would be, uh, I would recommend this to people that were fan, that are big fans of Mario, but I wouldn't recommend it to big f but big fans of like Nintendo and stuff that uh, they put demand like perfection and stuff because again this is low budget it's friends getting coming together to do something fun to celebrate something they love so you know somebody that demands like perfect quality stuff you know they're gonna hate this even though it's just it's just a bunch of friends coming together for fun how do I feel about my character in general and who it would uh, in uh like act with better in uh, a, a sequel personally i got a lot of when i first walked onto the set we were walking out to location to where my cameo was and everything and they were like okay so here's what's going on and i went no no i'll just like you know i'll look at the script and everything yeah we don't have one really all right so all that was improv and i'm like okay so you know i can pretty much i kind of had free reign to do whatever i wanted with the character so it's kind of the effect of uh it's kind of like the effect of a uh tio's ash character where it's like you know breaks the fourth wall constantly just a little less of an annoying voice <laughs> as he watches that he's going to just be like that bitch but no, it's like I could definitely see like a spin-off show with Ash and Villager traveling through the different video games, doing different things. I could totally see that show being a thing. I'm Billy and this has been Smash Brotherhood. Please like, subscribe, and all that other garbage for YouTubers.